A cargo tank which has been gas-freed can be inert by introducing inert gas through a process known as A. Evaporation B. Dilution C. Displacement Answer C. Displacement The buildup of wet solids on the IG blower impeller blade tips indicates dash problems? A. Baffles B. Deck seal C. Demister Answer C. Demister An enclosed space in the cargo area external to a cargo containment system room or any space in normal use by personnel is called A. Accommodation B. Gas-free area C. Void space D. None of the above Answer C. Void space The static suction head of a pump is the dash A. Distance the suction liquid level is below the center line of the pump. B. Amount in inches of mercury the total suction head is below atmospheric pressure. C. Force necessary to overcame frictional losses in the pump and piping. D. Distance of the suction liquid level above the center line of the pump. Answer. A. Distance the suction liquid level is below the center line of the pump. The purpose of pressure slash vacuum valves is to A. Major pressure or suction levels in cargo tanks. B. Enable load or discharge of oil without opening siding ports. C. Provide for the flow of small volumes of tank atmospheres. D. Provide an audible alarm in the event of pressure buildup. Answer. C. Provide for the flow of small volumes of tank atmospheres. Why the carriage and usage of hand gas lighters are provided on board oil and chemical tankers. What is used for igniting a fire? A. Intrinsically safe lighters are used to test the heat and flame detectors. B. Safety igniters are used for lighting out gas torches before heat work. C. Safety matches are available to use in the designated smoking area. Answer. C. Safety matches are available to use in the designated smoking area. What is the best method for extinguishing fire of escaping liquefied flammable gas? A. Cooling the gas below the ignition point. B. Stopping the flow of gas. C. Interrupting the chain reaction. D. Cutting of the supply of oxygen. Answer. B. Stopping the flow of gas. ISGOTT stands for A. International Safety Guide for Oil Tankers and Terminals. B. International Safety Guide for Oil Tankers. C. International Safety Guide for Gas and Oil Tankers. D. International Safety Guide for Oil Terminals. Answer. A. International Safety Guide for Oil Tankers and Terminals. Is slop tanks included in total cargo capacity? A. Only on cleaning blast tankers. B. Yes it is. C. Only segregated blast tankers. D. No it is not. Answer. B. Yes it is. What is the use of IGS interlock switch in inert gas system? A. To avoid running inert gas when oxygen content increased to 8% volume. B. For using inert gas in gas-free mode. C. If the tank pressure in I. G. S. system drops to 100 mm of water gauge cargo oil pump will trip. D. Atmosphere valve will get fully open if oxygen content increased to 8% by volume. Answer. A. To avoid running inert gas when oxygen content increased to 8% volume. What is pore point? A. The temperature at which oil gets frozen. B. The lowest temperature at which a petroleum oil will remain fluid. C. The temperature at which oil cannot be discharged. D. The temperature at which oil needs to be heated. Answer. B. The lowest temperature at which a petroleum oil will remain fluid. H2S gases? A. Less toxic. B. Inflammable. C. Toxic, corrosive and inflammable. Answer. C. Toxic, corrosive and inflammable. What factor mainly affects vapor cloud dilution rate? A. Quantity of spill. B. Weather conditions. C. Thermal inversion. D. Diameter of the vapor cloud. Answer. B. Weather conditions. Higher viscosity means. 
A. Proper atomization of fuel. B. Poor atomization of fuel. C. Rich atomization of fuel. Answer. B. Poor atomization of fuel. What is the effect of the intermolecular forces on vapor pressure? A. Relatively strong force will increase vapor pressure. B. Relatively strong force will decrease vapor pressure. C. Relatively weak force will decrease vapor pressure. D. Relatively weak force does not have any effect on vapor pressure. Answer. B. Relatively strong force will decrease vapor pressure. In the displacement method of purging and inerting, the inert gas A. Enters from the top of the tank. B. Enters from the bottom of the tank. C. Mixes with the original tank atmosphere. D. Could enter from the bottom or the top of the tank. Answer. A. Enters from the top of the tank. Your vessel is taking on fuel when a small leak develops in the hose. You order the pumping stopped. Before you resume pumping, you should A. Notify the terminal superintendent. B. Place a large drip pan under the leak and plug the scuppers. C. Repair the hose with a patch. D. Replace the hose. Answer. D. Replace the hose. You are operating a non-ocean going vessel. How much of the accumulated oily waste must you be able to retain on board? A. 25%. B. 50%. C. 75%. D. 100%. Answer. D. 100%. Which hand gloves are best suited for handling solvents, petrol, oils and many chemicals? A. PVC gloves. B. Rubber gloves. C. Neoprene or nitrile rubber gloves. Answer. C. Neoprene or nitrile rubber gloves. What are all the three basic stages which leads to a potential static hazard and necessary for an electrostatic ignition? A. Viscosity, charge separation and temperature. B. Charge accumulation, velocity and density. C. Charge separation, charge accumulation and electrostatic discharge. D. Flammable gas, air and heat source. Answer. C. Charge separation, charge accumulation and electrostatic discharge. Hazards associated with dangerous liquid substances are A. Flammability. B. Corrosivity. C. Toxicity. D. Reactivity. Answer. B. Corrosivity. Which hand torches can be used on tanker? A. Any. B. Only Duracell. C. Intrinsically safe. D. High powered. Answer. C. Intrinsically safe. The resistance of liquid to flow is called A. Pressure surge. B. Viscosity. C. Mobility. D. Hydraulic pressure. Answer. B. Viscosity. All equipment used on tankers like walkie-talkie, torches, camera must be? A. Sturdy. B. Made of brass. C. Intrinsically safe. D. Good quality. Answer. C. Intrinsically safe. What type of crude is used for COW? A. Dry. B. Wet. C. Both dry and wet. D. Sweet. Answer. A. Dry. Minimum oxygen concentration is the minimum quantity of oxygen required for cargo to ignite? A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. The electrostatic field strength which is sufficient to cause breakdown of air or petroleum gases is about A. 5000 kilovolt slash meter B. 3000 kilovolt slash meter C. 3000 volt slash meter D. 5000 volt slash meter Answer B. 3000 kilovolt slash meter What are closed operations? A. Ballasting Loading or discharging operations carried out without opening all edge ports. B. To prevent escape of hazardous vapor from tanks. C. Remote control of tank delivery valves. D. Remote control of inert gas entry into a tank. 
Answer. A. Ballasting, loading or discharging operations carried out without opening ullage ports. What is cold work? A. Carrying out work in a cold atmosphere. B. Work that cannot create a source of ignition. C. Carrying out work on reefer containers. D. Work that can be done only in cold temperatures. Answer. B. Work that cannot create a source of ignition. The most common measure taken on tankers to avoid static discharge is A. Closed ullaging. B. Use of only approved PPE on deck. C. Bonding and grounding. D. Having continuous pipe lengths. Answer. C. Bonding and grounding. How to reduce hydrogen sulfide hazard in residual fuel oils. A. Ventilation to lower the concentration of vapor in the ullage space and in specific areas where vapors may accumulate should be carried out as soon as practicable. B. Transfer the oil to some other tank using fuel transfer pump. C. Keep heating the oil to maintain a higher temperature. D. Circulate the oil in the same tank using the cargo pump. Answer. A. Ventilation to lower the concentration of vapor in the ullage space and in specific areas where vapors may accumulate should be carried out as soon as practicable. What is runaway polymerization? A. Exothermic self-reaction. B. Self-reaction. C. Endothermic self-reaction. D. Both exothermic and endothermic reactions. Answer. A. Exothermic self-reaction. What is cargo inhibition? A. How chemical cargo physical and chemical properties change during transportation. To avoid this, certain inhibitors are added to the cargo. B. For some chemical cargos. Under heat and in presence of oxygen, their physical and chemical properties change. To avoid this surline inhibitors are added to the cargo. C. Some chemical cargo some physical and chemical properties change due to cold neither in presence of oxygen. To avoid this, certain inhibitors are added to the cargo. D. Adding inhibitors to a refined vegetable oil adds its market value as the inhibitor maintains its color. Answer. B. For some chemical cargos. Under heat and in presence of oxygen, their physical and chemical properties change. To avoid this surline inhibitors are added to the cargo. A shipboard oil pollution emergency plan is required of A. All vessels, regardless of size and commercial application. B. Any barge or ship constructed or operated in such a manner that no oil in any form can be carried aboard. C. An oil tanker of 150 gross tons and above, or other ship of 400 gross tons and above. D. An oil tanker of 400 gross tons and above, or other ships of 150 gross tons and above. Answer. C. An oil tanker of 150 gross tons and above, or other ship of 400 gross tons and above. The convention that allows states to intervene in a pollution incident at sea is the A. Marpal Convention B. Solis Convention C. C. L. C. Convention D. Intervention Convention Answer. D. Intervention Convention the portable air operated salvage pumps used for spillage cleanup operation on tanker shall be deployed at A. The aft end of each side of poop deck. B. The aft end of each side of main deck. C. The forward end of each side of main deck. D. The midship on each side of main deck. Answer. B. The aft end of each side of main deck. Aquatic toxicity of chemicals are categorized as A. D1 and D2. B. BL and B2. C. CL and C2. D. L and A2. Answer. B. BL and B2. What is the least a person should do before entering machinery spaces? A. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment. B. Inform the bridge. C. Inform his superiors. Answer. A. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Pyrophoric oxidation occurs when loading. A. Light crude oils. B. Sour crude oils. C. Refined products. D. Chemical cargos. Answer. B. Sour crude oils. 
bulwarks are generally not permitted in the cargo tanks areas because a. They tend to contain heavy vapor in board during cargo operations. b. They restrict the outflow of water during heavy weather. c. They are unnecessary extra weight structure-wise. d. They stiffen the tank deck too much and do not allow flexibility. Answer. A. They tend to contain heavy vapor in board during cargo operations. Inert gas blowers are dash. A. Pedal type low speed blowers. B. Low speed type centrifugal fans. C. Turbine type centrifugal blower fans. D. Reciprocating type bower units. Answer. C. Turbine type centrifugal blower fans. What is the abbreviation of IAPH? A. International Association of Ports and Harbors. B. International Association of Principal and Hull. C. International Association of Pump Pressure Head. Answer. A. International Association of Ports and Harbors. It is a rule that the inert gas supply to the cargo tanks must be provided for. A. Drainage of inert gas. B. Fitting blind or spectacle flanges. C. Securing and locking in a closed position. D. Easy removal and inspection. Answer. C. Securing and locking in a closed position. Is slope tanks included in the total cargo capacity? A. Only on clean blast tankers. B. Yes it is. C. Only on segregated blast tankers. D. No it is not. Answer. B. Yes it is. What is dead weight scale? A. The maximum dead weight the vessel can achieve. B. The ratio of dead weight and reserve buoyancy. C. The maximum reserve buoyancy the vessel can have. D. BA table it is the part of the vessel plans and indicates the draft the vessel will be down. Answer. A. The maximum dead weight the vessel can achieve. Marpal NX1 deals with A. Oil pollution. B. Chemical pollution. C. Both oil and chemical pollution. D. Garbage pollution. Answer. A. Oil pollution. An inhibitor stops? A. Polymerization. B. Self reaction. C. Both A and B. D. Putrefaction. Answer. A. Polymerization. A sudden increase of pressure of liquid in a pipeline is A. Pressure drop. B. Pressure value. C. Pressure surge. D. All of above. Answer. C. Pressure surge.